Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and good over applies to you, and today we are back on Divinity Original Sin, where we were just questioning him. Source Hunter, welcome, uh, welcome, Source by all business. means. Mm, of course, Schneider. I hope your investigation topic, fares well. Topic. I mean, and what might feel. those be? What can we do about the undead that threaten Sicio? Those who are raising the dead dwell among us. They simply must be. But even though I've spent many a night leaping from tree to rooftop, watching on as citizens stagger home from the inn or simply burn the midnight oil, I haven't spied a single soul worthy of true suspicion. The enemy is wily. They know us better than we know them, and they've found ways to avoid both detection and distrust. And yet, I am somehow convinced that you may succeed where the Legion and I have failed. You know, a healthy bit of skepticism would be good for you, man. You don't know me. I could just be a fake source hunter. You have some fucking skepticism. Statements, hunter. I'm sure they are but a minor nuisance in the eyes of a born warrior. But to the Legion, they are green-skinned death in I don't know. If the Legion had a few healers, I think they'd be fine. They did pretty well on the beach. Until they conclude what mischief they intend to see through or less likely they are conclusively defeated we can but bar the gates and hole up like mice while the cats are on the prowl oh my god please stop talking in cat speak oh a mere trifle for one with the intellect of a feline and the engineering skills of a human you basically construct a classic ballista Add a 100% legally obtained self-regenerating source of destructive magic to it, and Bobcat's your uncle. Alright, I'll take my leave. I'm done with you. Let's get away before you try to strap me to one of your damn ballista. Alright, downstairs. Out the room. Let's get the fuck out of here, please. Oh, wait. Actually, uh... Character. Recruits! That was sloppier than Sicilian stew. Loremaster? To examine enemies and identify no items. Get to oh, cool! Sorry, sir. But you have none of these, you think huh? That's funny, private? Sir, no, sir! Skills expert marksman, nothing else. Uh, defense. Weapon bow tenebrium. What the fuck is tenebrium? Alright, let's let's just go. Uh Okay, uh first we need to fill out the map. Rule one, always fill out the map. Rule two, explore every inch of the town before going outside. A sight for sore eyes indeed. Alright, uh... Alright, that's the town gate. So, again, rule one, look through the entire town first. Why? Because you want to pick up as many side quests as possible before you actually leave the joints. Oh, because most of them... Cruel fortune. Okay, he's a beggar. Leave him alone. I ain't got money. I just spent all my money. Go away. Come on. Come on. Can't you? Hear the stage uh, calling you. Okay, no. I definitely do not hear the stage calling me. Please go away. My word. Zombie ate your dog? Orc sunk your ship? No matter. You're at Katarina's Fair. A veritable summer home for troubled minds. I'll take my leave. Bye bye. Fantastic! Sigurd and his rainbow of war machines. Is that a talking head? That's a fucking talking head. Okay, let's let's just go visit Esmeralda. I'm pretty sure she didn't do it. But we should talk to her anyway. Maybe she noticed someone following her husband, or maybe any private dealings he might have had. Water barrel! Alright. Esmeralda shop. Move along. Alright. Move along. 
Damn, you really can just buy shit off of anyone, huh? Alright, I'll take my leave. Uh, let's go this way. Septimus, you have a name. Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Et Oh my god, please no. Please no. Let, let, let's just talk to Esmeralda. We'll, we'll talk to him afterwards. Esmeralda! Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the You know, matter? considering the town's ready to lynch you, I think you'd shut up and let me ask the damn questions. Who are you? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich and I so poor. But is one and only princess just the same. Uh... Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? Nobody suspects you in this room. Okay. Are who call me? I'm a source hunter. I'm looking into this shit. I have to ask you questions. So, what so shut up. Some of tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger, and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Oh my god, I feel like punching this person already. All right, can you tell me about this well, place? What do you want to know? Tell me about Sicio. Rather dreary these days, isn't it? As if the undead weren't enough to ruin the atmosphere, now the orcs have started harassing our harbor again. All right, the undead. I've heard that once they're animated, the undead feel all the rage and violence their living counterparts felt during life. Can you imagine living through all your most chaotic feelings all the time? All right, you have a nice collection of things. Yeah, here she does. All right, uh, I'll take she my leave. She seems to be quite adamant about her innocence. We'll need to look for evidence if we want to prove she actually did the evil deed. Mate, okay, we're not trying to prove she did it. We're trying to disprove because we don't think she did it. All right, now we have to talk to Septimus. Oh boy. Legion's Septimus. greetings, Hunter. And you are. I am Septimus, seventh son in a household of nine. Legionnaires all. Me and two brothers of mine were assigned to Cycile from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. Is he a seventh son of a seventh son? <laughs> Shouldn't you be out hunting witches? <laughs> That movie wasn't that bad. I mean, you know, it's it was okay to watch. It wasn't anything groundbreaking or anything, but it looks good. Anyway, what do you think about Esmeralda? So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Riverlock, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy. And indeed, a fabrication. Go on, Septimus. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. I doubt you would admit to any proof existing in the first place, now would you? Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicile. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. All right, I'd like to ask you some questions. What questions are those? Tell me this about Sicilians. This place is practically a tomb, and these Sicilians are constantly crying for our attention. There's a zombie in my garden. An orc at my baby. My sheep. My sheep is gone. Oh, woe is me! It never ends. I'll be grateful when our reinforcements finally arrive. Maybe they'll manage to muster the will to care. Yay! <laughs> All right, the undead. I fought orcs crazed with blood liquor. 
withstood assaults by ogres wielding clubs made of human bones and teeth. Aye, I've braved the poisonous spear tips of goblins aplenty. But never did I know fear until I'd faced the undead. Not a pleasant thing for a legionnaire to feel fear, but there you have it nonetheless. Alright, I'll take my leave. I'm done with you. Please stop talking. My, what a strong and handsome officer you are, kind Septimus. You must have fought many. Oh god, no, get me the fuck out of here. No, no, get me the fuck out of here. Alright, we're done with them. Now let's go to the crime scene. We need to investigate the crime scene. Since our who felt he dark magic, I assume if she was using that at all, he'd also sniff that around her. So we can maybe assume it's okay. Claudius, Marcius. Well, Mayor Cecil will be happy to see the likes of a source. Oh, this is the town hall. <laughs> it's hilarious that no one told me to come here at all. I'll figure out who murdered Jake before the day's through. Just you wait. Detective Kip is on the case. Hmm. How do you feel about Detective Pikachu, Detective Kip? <laughs> oh my god, there's two way shrines in the town, really? The town isn't that big that I need two teleporting spots, although a sprint button would be nice. Cancel. Okay. More training grounds, I'll go there later. But shit, I can definitely see why I said 100 hours of quests. Graveyard, this graveyard, grave diggers, you'll wish you hadn't. <sighs> Alright, try not to step on the graves. It's typically bad luck, and what is that dog sniffing around for? Rest in peace, darling. Looks like that dog is awfully agitated. Perhaps Ugly! To tell us something. I can speak to dogs! Hey, hey, Murphy! Wow! I was wondering where that awesome sweaty boot smell was coming from. <laughs> and here you are! Wow! This is great! Stay the fuck away from my shoes, Murphy. I'm Murphy, Jake's dog. Oh. Wow, you smell great! Have you been rolling around on dead things all day? That's my favorite hobby, too. Tell me about yourself, little boy. You know who I miss? Jake. Sometimes... He just sit there being awesome, uh, and I'd give him this look like you <laughs> Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> you do too, Murphy. And he was my best friend. <laughs> no, why do you have to have the talking dog? I came here so I could smell Jake again. He smelled great. But whatever's buried there doesn't smell like Jake at all. No, it's definitely not Jake. He was awesome. I'm so sorry, Murphy. Oh. If I ever find out who killed Jake, the most awesome Jake who ever jaked, I'll, I'll, I'll bark so much, seriously so much, you have no idea. <laughs> I gotta go now, boy. You're a good boy. Here lies Kavanagh. Will they have Sicile Pie in the afterlife? Here lies Jake. Please do not disturb. May the sun right. keep you. I smell... Rotten lamb chops. Alright, first we're gonna quick save. And we'll talk to Siva right after we exhume Jake's body. If the dog says he doesn't smell Jake here. Dirt here appears to have been freshly dug. If you have a shovel, you can dig and check the rage. I smell. Open. What trickery is this? That's not it's Jake. a sheep's corpse. It's a rotting May sheep's corpse. Keep you. It seems someone snatched Jake's body. Hey, puppy! Wow. That dead sheep smells pretty great. I mean, wow. But it's nothing compared to Jake. Seems someone <laughs> stole Jake. Jake stole my ball once. But then he threw it far, and I went, and I got it. <laughs> and Jake was awesome. Uh, <laughs> Listen, if you go around town and, and find someone who you think might have done it, bring me a really... I've got to go now, boy. I'll come back after I check out the scene of the murder. What's up, Siva? Who are you? Peace be with you, traveler. May your life... I once lived a prosperous life with my husband and our happy little daughter, Loni. 
But when the undead plague broke out, my dear husband was among the first killed. Shit, you've been a sailor for two years, right? He only never recovered from the loss. And when a group of mercenaries, predators, more aptly called, came to town dangling the opportunity to annihilate those undead devils, Lorne laughed up their rhetoric and joined without so much as a backward glance. <sighs> she was killed less than a week after she joined. Here she lies. And here I stand, mourning the death. Alright, I'm sorry for your loss, lady. Alright, I'll check out the murder scene. Then I'll be back, and I'll get the dog, and we'll all sniff out and look for Jake together. <laughs> the poor puppy lost Jake! He lost his Jake! Yet, I feel a cold inside my soul. The bane of age, the crux of years. Eglander, how you doing? Oh, how nice it is of you. The very picture of youth. To break the monotony of an elder's day. Wild away on this hardwood bench. Pray, let me be forward with you. Oh, sapling rose. Oh, leaf of spring. For my weary mind is troubled. And would highly prize thy gentle-handed assistance. Thy... A kind ministrations. Oh, God, please, please just say, can you help me? I am but an aged elf that has seen the years parade in long succession. Gladly shall I tell you more. Will I regale thee, O oh whelp of men, with my tale? Uh, but not here, where the winds may steal my words. Okay, just, just you, about the assistance. You, you would listen to my grievances, guide me towards untroubled realms. Oh, you are truly a wonder, oh, budding flower of the morn. Yet, th that which I would tell you is of a rather private nature. So let us escape both the chill and the eye of public scrutiny. Hot spice wine. And a snug little room awaits us. Okay. Oh, God. Why the hell do you have to sound so creepy? Oh, what is with the elderly? At least in this game. I will summon a giant spider to eat your face! If you don't chill out, man. Anyway. We finally made it to the crime scene. Where is this? Ow! Oh. oh, this is a mortuary. Yeah. Mortician! Okay, I'll be back. Uh, we're gonna check out the murder scene first. Uh, Jake isn't in the coffin. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I went the wrong way. Okay, go this way. Uh, I wish, I wish there was a sprint key. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, wait, I think the door is on the other side. Yeah, okay, it's on the inner side of the backwards L. Let us go! It seems like even the chickens are upset that Jake's dead. I mean, damn. You there. A moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are the source hunter. Okay, are you okay, not? just. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put Menace. me on this very spot so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. And you are... someone with a wooden stake. What the fuck? What, you think there are vampires around? Mendius, at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what it used to be, and that is a man of medicine. But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I saved lives. Oh, this to be is sure, a scam. But today, I change them. 
This is definitely a scam. Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once in a lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. All right, so what's your first snake oil? Of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? What are you going to give me? Ground up tiger penis? Rhino horn? Snake oil? What? Uh. I'm here to do my duty, which is hardly the same as adventuring. Eh, Quite right. Adventure is what we live for. See here. You and I share the same passion. I never doubted it for a moment. Mm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Good stuff. No, I can't say that I have. Yes, some extra gold is always welcome. Indeed. Indeed, gold is always welcome. And among the fabulous five, gold flows as freely as water does to the sea. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety, without spice? To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes. Am I right? All those- Ah, oh, wait, no, is this a pyramid scheme? this, retrieve that, and at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots? Be your own boss? Oh, okay, so this isn't snake oil, this is a pyramid scheme. Uh, there's no shame following directions. Your masters are worthy of your trust. True enough. We come now. I refuse to believe such a uniquely skilled individual would settle for a puppet's role. Life's too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding. Just sell these right? turquoise jewelry wherever you go. You'll make <laughs> extra money you for your trap. The dream. In that, oh, the change shit. you deserve. And that is exactly why I am here. Why fate has put me right by the door to the king crab. So that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous five. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. Oh, God. Oh, the fabulous five. How I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurer's guild in Red. Oh, God, please our stop with the cell. Just, just tell me what the fuck you actually do. To better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. Kill me now! Kill me! You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would! And you can! Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? You know... No, what do you actually do? What a gem of a question. Straight as an arrow. Sharp as a switchblade. Most meritorious of you. Now then, to join the Fabulous Five is to join a fellowship. To join a fraternity, a sorority, a community. The title of Knight is bestowed upon you the moment you sign our waiver, and so it all begins. I shall be the one to give you your first contracts, and once the job is done, I shall see to it you get your fair share of the reward. You still haven't told me what I'll be doing. Of course. Should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel of the Fabulous Five, and thereby draw new knights into our fellowship, you will get a share of the reward from their contracts, too. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, wait. Cricket chirping. Okay, yep. 
There, I was trying to look up a short click of clip of clip clip of crickets chirping so I could just play it right next to the mic every time this guy finishes talking. By now, the genial glow of the fellowship must have warmed your heart. It has, hasn't it? But did I say fellowship? I mean family. Oh my god. Ah, like uh, please. Why yes. can't I end the conversation? See each other through thick and thin. Partake in glory and defeat. Work hard. Fulfill contracts. Enlist new knights, and swiftly shall you rise through the ranks. You will better yourself. Uh. You will better Rivalon. You will make the stars shine all the brighter. And you'll get fabulously wealthy in the process. What's not to like? Um, the fact that this sounds like a horrible pyramid scheme. <laughs> Just, uh, I need money. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Ah, uh, yeah. Me, me. Marvelous, magnificent. Oh, but what am I saying? Oh, it's a pretty straightforward task, this one. Now, in this town dwells a wizard. Ah, who is his name? And he's a frightful eccentric. Scientific type, you know the kind. Favors reason over faith and all that. Not Fabulous Five material, him. His experimental weapons may keep a couple of skeletons away from the city, but many of his other researches failed. Malfunctioned with tragic consequences. One of them was a big lumbering apparatus. A frightful automaton shaped like a giant made of steel. It was supposed to crush the undead by the dozens, piloted as it was by a trained legionnaire. But you can guess what happened. Did it become sentient? Was it cursed? Whatever the cause, the thing relieved itself of its pilot and headed north towards a network of caves. Now ask yourself, what if it comes back? It could smash the city walls and claim a hundred lives before being subdued. Luckily, there are those in this world who belong to the Fabulous Five. Alright, that's done. Holy shit, that was way too long of a conversation. I am a duke, you potato-eating peasant. Uh, uh, hello, kitty. <laughs> Never saw you in the king crab before. You're welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. Who are I you? I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. Tell me about the ship. A magnificent you are. ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. You're only a survivor? So I was. What friends I had, they drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I've milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, Wait, there is no one like Is this Maxine. a quest to play a matchmaker for a cat? Maxine, the mayor's darling pet. So gentle, so fair oh a feline. God. I'm gonna have to play the matchmaker for cats, aren't I? The subtle palette of eyes in her sable coat. Oh my She's God. one of a kind, that cat. She likes me, I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I, I've serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. But 
for some reason she is not to be swayed. By all means. Uh, let's you take on the end. make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk, though. But still, I do test them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. Can you tell me about the orcs? Oh, don't mention orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank Walrus Willie's boat right from under him. Best Anthony Fisher in the world, he was. A lost. All right, I'll take my leave. Please go away. Duke Farrell. Uh, I, feel, I really don't feel like talking to you. I've talked to too many people this damn episode anyway. Who's the one walking around with a bastard sword on her back? Back, demon! Back, or I'll... Well, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Madara, you lummox. A thousand pardons. I'll tell you. It sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain Wartruce my regards next time you see him. Uh, I had never been supposed to be so I see you. What are you doing Catherine's here? Hornets. That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern you. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. Oh my god, a southern bell with a great sword. <laughs> There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. But ones who've taken Madora. dark magic to new heights. <clears throat> Please tell me you're not an explorer. What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases. And a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. I came south seeking the Legion's help. Only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward. And even in my finest form. I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. Orcs at village had managed to By escape. the skin of my teeth, comrade. The savages were rounding up villages when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me, that particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the night. I managed to wrench free of my captor's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sicil hinterlands. Uh, I don't recognize you from the academy. You wouldn't. I trained up in Academy North, after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often. But it's always a pleasure when we do. Medora's the name. Retired. Or so the Order keeps trying to tell me. But never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at your side. That's your next plan of attack. If it doesn't involve sitting down and having a cup of sweet tea on a hot summer's day. Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I've been scouting Sicil for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the counselor. With our minds and swords in tandem. We'll make short work of the perpetrator. All right, so what's your proposition? You help us here in Sicil, we help you take back your own Well, you know the old expression. Two's a tea party, three's an invasion. I know this place like the back of my hand by now. And the orc... Uh... Come now, Alistair. All right, Surely fine, let's go. Another source hunter on the team will make us all the more formidable against this wicked magic. Welcome aboard, Medora. That's the spirit. Listen closely now. Do you hear it? That's the sound of every orc and sorcerer in a hundred mile radius shaken in his weed. Okay, please stay away from me. Alright. That wasn't annoying enough. We got our fourth party member, Medora, two-handed. Crushing fist, add up skills, and whirlwind. Knock that alley back up. We're out of burning one. Troop of eager imbeciles we sent to the northern cave. Do I seem like the sort who concerns myself with such things? You'll be concerned enough when you realize that reward money won't be lying in your pockets. I am most for talking to the main heroes. I'll get around to it. Yeah. 
Okay. All oh, right, I was still quick with you. Sorry. Ah, uh, what have we here? A source hunter, is it? Well, my day just became rather tall as an elf, strong as an orc, but your face. Okay, Quite I just it? talked because you sounded Statuous, like you had some, some people say. sent to the north yes, for reward money, and I want the money. And sturdy as marble, yet fine as a chisel. And my word, what passion burns from your eyes! Please forgive my being forward, but I, I dare say, can it be? You, well, you're exactly the person I've been searching for. You've been searching for that someone? I have, for nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself lacked a significant component. Like if you could only fill a certain void, could connect with the right body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and thrilling vistas. And this lady is extremely fucking creepy. <laughs> I believe I have found that component, that body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter. Come, if ever oh we are to God. be united, why? we why must Why is there so many weird people in this one fucking town? Link our what is more. <laughs> Make it stop. Yes. You must join the Fabulous Five right away, as soon as time permits. Together, as a team, Can so you've joined up. You've sworn oh, to share God, in our adversity no, and our bounty please. alike. Oh my God, oh, I need to quit this guild right away. This so guild is horrible. We have a bunch of I weird people. I offer you our finest adventuring equipment. At, well, you must be thrilled to find yourself a member of a team so widely renowned for its valor and skill. And you must be even more curious about how you yourself can suit up to... Ah, oh, darling, that was so long ago now. Who can remember who said what after all this time? Well, you are a member of the eminent Fabulous Five after okay. all. Oh, God, please stop. Please stop, thank you. Please stop. Thank the god she stopped. Get get the hell away from me, lady. Okay, why the fuck did I join the Fabulous Five? It seems like I made a horrible decision. Alright, uh... Legionnaire. Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I'm not exactly the friendliest bloke the captain, is he? Well... Your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Well, thank you for the kind words, sir. Let's go in. Oh! Okay, inert stone. Oh! Source was what the fuck? The fuck just happened? Loading the end of time? What's this end of time bullshit? What the fuck? I'm just investigating a murderer! The fuck is this? What? What happened? Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow it sent us flying into the stars. This better be a fucking dream. I still have shit to do in town. Terrible! 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 It will consume us all! The fuck are you? Oh, okay, no. For a second I thought I was looking at his front and his head was just like replaced with like a skin chicken or something. No, it's just a goblin, okay. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here? At the end of space and time? How very, very, very curious. Can I defeat you if I make you say your name backwards? Your guess is as good as mine, my newfound comrade. Here I stood upon this tiny vestige of space and time, and there you appeared. Yes, I appeared. Now please tell me where the hell I am. Eye, because the ground here has been fast shrinking beneath my feet. Oh, um, but uh, I suppose I should make a proper introduction. Zixx the Historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. Okay, so I assume this place is shrinking because the future is looking less and less plausible. What am I doing here? 
Attempting to avert disaster, of course. Yeah, I Attempting as much. to prevent all that is oh, boy. From disappearing. Can you friend? When I mentioned that this place is the end of time, did your heart quicken and your stomach drop? If not, they should have. Not really, no. <laughs> I mean, so far I could just see the stars, and this is some type of observatory. Time ought to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. Simple. Time has ended. Someone used source and blew up the space-time continuum. So don't tell. I always say. So go. Peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon to be terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. I think that imp might be quite, quite mad. Then we'd better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. How is the imp mad? We're literally on a floating rock in the middle of space. How is the imp crazy? Have some common sense! Oh, is that a dragon? Very big dragon that came out of like a reverse you black looked. hole. You saw! Terrifying, isn't- What's this? The portal! It's- It's- Hi. The portal! The portal! It's quite sprung to life, just like the long, dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Well, time to save the world once again. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence! Oh wait, shit, why am I... What the fuck just happened? Uh... Okay, wow, can we first discuss what we lo just saw through your damn looking glass? Oh, me how right you are! There's, There's a fucking so dragon coming out of a reverse black hole in space. Has been my Tell me! I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. Oh shit! When I used the Elder Scroll to move Alduin, he went to a completely different universe! I can't say for sure where it came from, how. Or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. Alwyn has come. It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, Zap it goes! The Chronicler of Time knows a pattern when he sees one. The Demon Noodle has just arrived. Come here, Luna. Luna, you wanna you wanna slap me in the face a couple of times to make sure <laughs> Ah, though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. Can can I go back to my own time, please? In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered. For I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... The way back? I spoil the mystery. As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. Listen, you little skin chicken! Tell me what's behind the damn portal! After you, after you! Oh, what... You first, you first, but don't dilly-dally! I guess someone else got here first. Bottle of wine. No, I'm robbing you blind first. I don't know what the fuck's here. If I could sell any of this shit, it'd be great. 
premium equipment taken from the literal end of time. Yours today for a measly hundred gold. Uh, I wonder if I could disassemble and sell this. <laughs> Let's just go this way. And he's off. It seems the Impa spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. Okay, system of portals. Not one there though. Hmm. Maybe uh no, not what I was looking for. Okay, let's see what's over here. Great big bad at the end? Maybe? Somewhat? Hmm. Yeah, it is all very weird. Okay, uh... Is this another grouping of portals? Probably. Here, I'll have you all go there. Okay, and then whatever he's looking for somewhere down here. Yeah, more portals. Okay. Okay, so the only reason why there wasn't a portal on that other one is probably because we didn't get close enough, maybe? Or, hmm, I don't know what's weird. Alright, Imp, what's down here? And is there any way to get back? Oh, come on, we're at the end of time. Can't it be, like, some gold or something? Give me all of your shit. Just the last test. If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it. Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world, and each by each, you'll dis I don't suppose we could just pick the damn lock, can we? That seems like the better solution here. Uh... Could you? The weaver of time, mother of history, author of all that has ever been. Wait, why are you talking to my companion anyway? Aren't I supposed to be? Well, I mean, I guess we're both a main Indeed, character. Indeed, Sir Imp. As surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say! Sir Imp, your name is Skin Chicken. Now shut up. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? Alright, number one seems kind of stupid and assholey, so let's just go with two. There's a stone, strange ones that to assume where we stood and we belonged to this a plane among the stars. So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that so? Yes, that's just what happened. Have you seen Not it before? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Okay, what happened to that guy that turned into a dragon and Never fought things out? Never had I though? experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone, I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. 
We cannot tell the constable about any of this shit. He'll think we're high as fuck. Source hunters. It would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say. But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. Hmm. I figured we were probably written to existence by a future version of the Weaver of Time. That's why this version doesn't know about us, maybe. Starstone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Weird time travel bullshit. Or weird time travel bullshit! I thought this was over when we stopped doing Star Trek! Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? I mean, it does look kind of fucked up in the middle there, you know, with the whole scar going from left to right diagonally. Uh, and then I think it goes up on the Mysteries left side too. Of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. Yes, yes. Exas. Exist. That disappeared. Someone make him say his name backwards it so he can disappear. That Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Uh. Yes. Though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the Void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the Void will consume us. Okay, this time two is the dumb answer. We are Source Hunters of Rivalon. We have a mission that doesn't involve chasing down magical stones, when those magical stones are restoring the fabric of time and will probably keep us all from dying horribly from Alduin. <laughs> These stones can heal history, we must seek them Indeed out. You must. Though I may not yet understand why. It seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. Why, of course! That's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see. Collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. That shall never be, milady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the void. Oh, God, please, please, our most mysterious guest, are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore oh, what has been, been lost? lost. Alright. That is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like and want to come subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. Shut up! Skin chicken, we're talking here! Oh my god, even from here, it looks so much like a skin chicken. Be quiet! Anyway, goodbye humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you. And next time we may kill this skin chicken. So, what do you think, Source Hunter? Shut up, we're talking!